Hello everyone, this is Adit back again with another video. So in the last video in this Spotify clone series, uh, we have implemented the three APIs to our home screen and we have uh, uh, viewed like uh, we have uh, we are able to get like the playlist and the albums and uh, categories as well. So in this video, we're going, we are going to move forward and uh, we are going to implement uh, like I was just going through the Spotify clone, uh, not the, this one, but the Spotify application uh, the original one and i saw that uh, there is an, uh, a screen for the detail screen like when user click on the spotify uh, like when user click on uh, one of the one of the playlist in, inside a home screen then they, that um, then you, you get navigated to the detail screen where you will see all the track list right and uh, we haven't implemented that screen yet so in this video we are going to move forward and try to implement that screen first and yeah so and if you haven't watched my previous video already on this spotify clone and you are just watching this video then there might be chances that you won't get some of the stuff so i would suggest you to watch the previous video and then then come back here and if you just want still you just want to continue from this video then uh, i would suggest you to just grab the code from the description below uh, there is a repo link and you just clone it and uh, yeah just you, you can just try to implement it uh, from here it will work completely fine i think and uh, now in this video what we are going to do is like first thing that we need to do is uh, we are going to have a detail screen and uh, to have a detail screen what um, we are going to put this inside the screen Let's put a detail screen called, uh, let's uh, call it as detail component. Component and uh, yeah. And inside that, let's have an index dot TSX and we are going to have R and F E. So instead of uh, index, it should be a detail compo component. And over here as well, we can have a detail component, right? And uh, inside the text, we can, as of now, we just put the detail component. We have this detail screen, uh, like we don't have, we just, we are just uh, created the file. And now what we're going to do is like, we are going to, we need to have a additional navigation. We are going to have the stack navigation since uh, uh, as of now, we have only have the tab navigation. So when user click on any of the tab button and then that screen appears, but we need the uh, stack navigation since in this uh, detail screen will be available inside the home tab. So we are going to have this. So to have a stack navigation, what we're going to do is like, uh, we are going to create a file called uh, stack home navigation.tsx. And inside that we are going to have R and F E and uh, there is no need of any views or anything. So we are going to just uh, create a stack, initialize our stack, create a stack navigation. And uh, if you don't know about the React Navigations versions, I think versions five, yeah, five or six, I don't remember exactly. Maybe I'm using, oh, let me check, let me just walk you through that. Uh, I'm using version 5. So if you are not aware of uh, React Native version 5, uh, React Navigation version 5, then I would suggest you to, I will put a link in the description below. You can just go and watch that video and uh, continue from there. Like you get to learn wh or how stack, stack navigations and uh, all this navigation stuff work in uh, type, um, TypeScript. So yeah, mm, that's it. Uh, now we're just going to stack, have a stack navigator. And over the, inside the stack navigator, we are going to have a stack a screen and we are going to have a name. We are going to provide the name to a screen, which is home. And we are going to have a component. And inside the component props, we are just going to pass the home screen. Just pass it over here. And uh, there is another screen that we need to put, the screen we just created, that the detail screen. So we just have the screen and we're just going to put a name, like we are going to have a detail and then component detail component. 
and if you just uh, uh, go over here and uh, press control and space bar in macbook uh, in ios i guess and in, for windows i don't uh, maybe control and space bar that will work so if you just uh, do that it will import uh, the file at, um, on its own now what we're going to know, uh, need to do is uh, let's uh, go inside the tab navigation and inside the tab navigation, instead of having home over here, we are going to have the stack home navigation, right? And uh, and if we just save all this, we will have to see some changes on our screen. And uh, those changes, why I'm not seeing any changes over here? It should show a header as far as I know. Okay, so it is reloading and it is building the app. So maybe after building the app, it will show. Okay, yeah. So we have this uh, header over here. We don't need the header. So we're just going to remove the header first. And to remove the header, what we're going to do is we're going to pass additional props called options. And inside options, we are going to pass a header zone, which would be false. And the same thing, I'm sorry, I'm just going to pass that inside uh, the detail component as well. Since we don't need the, the headers over here, so let's just remove it. Yeah, so header is gone from here. Now, what we need to do when we go inside the home, inside the home screen, uh, we are going to have a function uh, which will handle the navigation from home to the detail screen. So to do that, we are just going to have handle uh, navigation and it is also going to accept uh, some values like uh, we, it is going to have at least uh, uh, at least uh, the playlist ID. But um, I'm not so sure what uh, value we are, we are going to need to pass in the detail APIs. So what we're going to do is like we, uh, we are going to pass the values. Uh, so let's just have a data and I'm just going to pass the any to it. So like um, we are using the TypeScript, but the thing is like most of the places I'm using any uh, to make the process fast. I mean, um, otherwise it, this video will get way too long and uh, I'm trying to make it smaller. So that's why. And uh, over here, so we're just going to have navigation. And if you are not aware of where this navigation is coming from, then you should uh, you should go through the React Navigation documentation and watch one of my videos on React Navigation. And over here, we're just going to have navigation dot navigate, and we have the detail. We are going to navigate to the detail screen, right? So over here, uh, inside the app thumbnail, uh, we are going to pass on press. And we, uh, we are also going to have a uh, handle navigation. And we inside the handle navigation, we are just going to pass a item. Uh, as of now, I'm just passing all the values because I'm not so sure what value I'm going to need. So yeah, later on, if we're just going to need only ID, then we will pass the only ID over here. So we're just going to copy this and uh, same thing is going to be passed uh, over here and here as well. And instead of our a item, it should be item because uh, we have renamed it over here to item. So yes, so we have the items over here. And now what we're going to do is um, if we just save this and inside the app thumbnail, uh, we need to pass this uh, on press on press and uh, we have this touchable opacity right so we are just going to have on press and hopefully this will work so if we just go to home screen now and we just press this this will navigate us to detail screen right so inside the detail screen oh, what we're going to have is uh, like uh, if you go to the spotify app you will see a detail screen, something like that. Uh, if you just see in the um, in my, no, this side. 
uh, you will have to see that uh, there is um, that uh, Spotify uh, screen, and we are going to build something like that. So to do that, let's go inside the details screen first. Here it is, index details screen, and first of all, we are going to have a safe area view. Inside the safe area view, what we're going to need is a scroll view, I think. Uh, scroll view, I think, yeah. So, yeah, we are going to have a scroll view. And uh, over here, let's have a style with uh, flex one and uh, margin horizontal as 10. Okay, and then we are going to have a box. And if you are not aware where this box is coming from, uh, we are using a package of re called uh, an, a restyle and uh, that restyle is, it, it's like a theme and we are using it over here. So if you are not aware of it, uh, go to my first, vi uh, first video on a Spotify clone and you will just have to grab, um, I mean, you will just have to know how the box is built. And uh, then inside the box, so we are going to have, uh, uh, let's have a icon, not icon, let's just import the icon first. Let's just have a from expo, and this is going to have a vector icons. So I uh, let's have a feeder as icon, okay. And we have icon which with name and uh, it should have uh, arrow left and size let's put it uh, somewhere around 20 and here we have rendered the our arrow but uh, there is uh, something different like uh, in iOS uh, we don't uh, have arrow this way well, we have arrow in Android. We have um, this arrow, but uh, uh, let me show you what kind of arrow we display on the uh, iOS. So let's just let me just uh, okay, and let me just move it over here. So here, let's have a feather icons let's go to feather icon and over here you will have to see like uh, there is an arrow okay and uh, we are using arrow left as of now but uh, for ios um, there should not be this uh, kind of arrow but uh, there is a different uh, arrow if you, you might have seen that in uh, in the screen over here the in the screenshot so let me just uh, get that arrow if it is uh, it is available already mm, let me check uh oh, yeah this one i need uh, this one several left for ios but uh, there is one problem like how, how we are going to distinguish distinguish so now uh we, what we are going to have is uh, we are going to have a title over here so to add the title, I think, no, we are going to have an image over here. So to display the image, so we are going to have an image and then uh, we are going to have a source for it and we are just going to require the image. And uh, I kind of already have one image in our assets directory. So I'm just going to use that one, okay. And if you just save it, it will render the image on the screen. This is the image, but uh, we need to resize the image. So to do that, we are going to have style and uh, width 300, height 300, okay? But one more thing that we need to do is uh, we need to provide a flex uh, direction and that is row. And uh, yeah, so let's just check it. And I'm just going to wrap this image inside another inside another box. And 
And inside the box, so let's just have uh, what we are going to have margin left. Sorry, ML, I think. And uh, that be, if we just press the control S, this can be small, medium, I think. And uh, we need to increase its uh, the arrow size, which is 30. And over here, we are not going to have this arrow uh, for iOS. For we are going for iOS, we are going to have several left. I just show you, showed you right. So to do that, let's just have let's just import platform platform dot os and if it is it is android then it is going to show this arrow or this is going to have save run left okay just save it and you will have to see like uh, we have this back button for now uh, we are not adding any functionality to go to our back button but we, what we are going to do is uh, like we are going to move forward and uh, implement other stuff and then we will come back later and uh, we'll do that right so another thing that we're going to need is uh let's have another box inside the box we are going to have uh, text and this text will have dawn fm i'm just putting some demi data later on we will get the data from the api for sure top and we are going to have margin top as uh, let's have l and uh, just save it and over here let's have font i don't know this text is coming from where okay so react native we don't need the text from the react native but instead i'm just going to import the text uh, from uh, our component and over here we are just going to have uh, think font size as uh, font size as 20 hope that will work and font weight that will be bold yeah and let's have another text text where this is going to display uh, the canned I'm not sure what this is. Uh, if we get the data from the backend, then we will have to figure it out. And uh, then we are just going to display album is from 2020. No, 2022. And yeah, so now we are going to create another box. Uh, and inside the box, uh, we are going to have uh, another box, uh, which is going to have some icons. Let's have icon called uh, name and uh, that name is heart and uh, size is going to be 20 and uh, there is going to be uh, like we can just put um, just save it first and let's see and we are going to have a Mars in top would, would be I think Let's have large, no, no, large, let's have a medium only. Okay. And then we are going to have another icon and uh, that would be with the name more horizontal, more horizontal. Uh, that uh, Spotify UI is that is, screen, uh, that is, uh, I'm able to see on the different screen. That's why I'm just seeing it over here and uh, then trying to replicate it over here so we are just going to have size uh, 20 for this one as well and we just save it and for this one uh, we are going to have a flex direction which is row and uh, we are also going to have justify content which would be on the center and uh, for this one as well this is the flex direction row and there is going to be another box and inside that uh, box we are going to have touchable opacity and then we are going to have another box since we are we are need to 
create a place button uh, so let's just do that and uh, let's have an icon with uh, color let's have white color and uh, then size would be 20 and then let's have a name called play okay and uh, for the box we need to add some of the colors like add pz dot min and uh, this is going to have a green color and uh, justify content we are going to have a center and uh, align item as well let's have a center and uh, then we are going to have a width 50 and height let's have 50 as well and the border radius let's put xl and hopefully that uh, that will create a button okay but uh, there is one problem and that is uh, we are having justify content to the center but uh, instead we want a space with pin let's just save it and you will have to see like uh, we have both uh, the buttons over here and now what we're going to have is uh, we are going to display the tracks right so to display the tracks uh, we are uh, going to create another box and inside that box uh, we are going to have another one and let's have a text and this is the, this this will be our first song right and then there we have weekend and uh, there is going to be another box and icon icon will be again more horizontal i guess yeah that was okay yeah but uh, let's have some of like this is going to be flex direction row and uh, justify content space between and align item to center margin top and this is again going to be okay i just save it and uh, this is how it, it is going to display now and later on when we implement the apis we are going to move uh, we are going to add more stuff to it like uh, this all data will be coming from the apis so this is it for this video uh, in the next upcoming video i will try it, like in the next upcoming video it, it's obvious like we are going to implement the apis to our detail screen so if you like the video consider subscribing and uh, thank you for watching